congratulations, son, on uh, you know, reaching your, your boyhood dream, I guess. I mean, there were a few setbacks over the last few years, and you've shown a lot of resilience, and you've put the hard work in, and it just goes to show that that hard work does pay off. And you've got the talent, and uh, we look forward to you getting out there and showing everyone what you made of. So, congratulations, son. Dad, how do you feel that Tex is getting his red and black debut? Yeah, it's a proud dad moment, that's for sure. Um, to see Tex here yeah, get, get his jumper presented by me, uh, I was like, I'm just pinching myself. It just brings back so many memories. But now he gets to write his own chapter at this great club, and that's something I'm really excited about. He's put the hard work in. He's shown resilience over the last few years with injuries, COVID. That's going to put him in good stead. And he's a hungry young lad. He can't wait to get out there. Yeah, you spoke about in the jumper presentation those challenges that he has overcome. Take us through that and, and what it probably means to him to get through those and, and be here now. Yeah, well, the last two years uh, have been interrupted with COVID being in Victoria for his year 11 and year 12. But the year 12 year, he had a stress fracture in his foot. So he's had to overcome those setbacks where he, he barely got out onto the footy field to play. So he got to play one or two games at the end of last year. And then that was it. He missed out on that uh, national draft which was his dream. He saw his cousin Desire get picked up, so you can imagine the setback. But that built resilience and it made him hungry. So I think this has been the best thing for him and to make him appreciate how much he loves football and how bad he wants to be out there and at the Essendon Footy Club. It was probably about five weeks ago that we saw that really lovely footage of you at the hangar with him after that cracky game and you told him you can get what you want if you're hungry enough. How amazed are you that it's just happened so quickly and the turnaround from that cracky game to, to round two? Yeah, no, it feels like I was, I was here you know, a couple of weeks ago, but it was like four or five weeks ago and saying congratulations for getting picked up by the club. And yeah, I did say to him, you can get what, whatever you want from this game. If you work hard, you get the rewards. And I remind him that you've got the talent and all those things together are starting to you know, come to the front because he's put the hard work in. So yeah, really, really proud of him. Young man playing his second game on the day that his dad debuted and played his last game. Here we go, let's get Friday night started. Ridley. Drills a low one and there we are. Wangadine's going to be greeted with that all night. Now they bring some forward heat, the Bombers. Bowie on top of the footy and in trouble. Long, deep ball, doubling back was Wanganeen. Someone needed to compete in the air. Tomlinson went, got it, did well with it. Little handball comes out, in and under he was, had another go, extracted it, stringer, this way, that away, left foot kick, good ball, and it is Wanganeen who did a lot of the hard bustling in there, much to the delight of his dad, Wanganeen out the back, on the left leg, for his first goal in footy, a magnificent little piece of skill. Picks it up, and as you do, Richo, for your first goal in NFL football, you just turn around, step on your normal third, straight through the middle. Well, Tex, technically wasn't your debut tonight, but it was the first time you took to the field in the, in the Essendon Guernsey. How did it feel? Oh, it was a dream come true to put on the Essendon Guernsey. Um, it'll be a memory I'd cherish forever, and it was just so fun just to get out with the boys finally and have you know play a game. It wasn't the best result, but you know I enjoyed it so much just being out there with the boys. You know, you had that experience last week, sitting on the bench and potentially coming on and going through that whole game day experience, but how did you feel heading into this one, knowing you were going to play? Are you pretty nervous? Um, I wasn't too nervous. Last week was a very good experience, just learning how to control your emotions so you don't get too nervous or too excited, it's just staying calm. So, yeah, I was a lot more prepared this game, so I was just at ease. Were you able to get on the scoreboard in the end? A nice little snap goal there. How, what was the feeling like to, to have that one and celebrate with your teammates? Oh, it was surreal, man. It, would be, it was a dream come true. Um, <clears throat> I remember that forever. It was you know, just so exciting to kick that first goal and everyone getting around me. It was support. You know, I enjoyed it so much and uh, wouldn't change a thing. I'm not sure if you've seen the vision yet, but your dad was jumping up and down the stands. He was pretty happy. What do you think that would have meant to him? Oh, it would have meant the world to him, you know. Um, he would taught me everything I know from a young age, so basically <clears throat> me kicking that goal is kind of like him kicking that goal. We've been so close together for this journey, and um, even though it doesn't show emotions, but um, when it comes to footy, you just pause them out. 
what did it mean to you to, to pull on the Essendon Guernsey and play in front of the fans of the MCG? Oh, it was surreal. It was a dream come true, you know, and I was just so proud to put on the Guernsey and wear it out there today. And the supporters really, you know, helped me out there, you know, build my confidence up, especially when I kicked that, that goal. It was just a proud moment to put on the Guernsey and wear it out there today.